Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rockthedivine.com. Thank you so much for tuning in to my latest video. Today I thought I'd talk about something I get asked quite a bit. They don't word it exactly in this way, but this is what they mean. I get asked a lot for predictions, future predictions, and and I get it. If you're anything like me, you are extraordinarily nosy and you want to know everything that's going to happen in the future so you can plan and act accordingly. And if it's going to be um, a bad thing, then you can worry yourself sick and try to control it with your mind and get anxious. And anyway, that's not a good thing, but it, that's what happens. Um, and, and, and it's fun. Predictions are fun. It's exciting to think about the future and what's going to happen. I, however, don't usually give predictions because while I think they're a lot of fun, and I even ask myself sometimes, they're not exactly helpful. And here's why. The future is forever changing, and I know you've all heard this before, but it, it's really true. There's certain things on your timeline that are set to some extent, but most of the future can be created and it can change at any second. So I consider myself an emotional intuitive. So I can look at the emotions of the situation, um, the problems that are going on in the present, and the energy that needs changed so you can move into the future that you want. So while I can look down your timeline and I can see what's going to happen if you stay doing what you're doing right now, and I can tell you if you change these things, the timeline will change, give or take a few things. I noticed that a lot of a, a lot of times I can tell, and this really is not a judgment, but I can tell the differences in people of who's going to have a an exciting future, who's going to really start to change, who's on the start of their path that is going to evolve and change, and the people that, not that they'll be stuck forever, but they'll be stuck at least for the time being, I can tell the difference between them because when I tell people when they say oh I want a reading with you that would be so exciting I want a reading with you what do you do and then I tell them what I do I say you know I look at your your life and I look at the situation you're concerned about I look at the energy and the vibration involved and I tell you what needs to change so that can become better and either people are very excited about it and they book a reading with me or ask more questions. Or I have many people who kind of pause and they I'll never either hear from them, which is fine. I mean, that's fine. Or I'll have people who are like, well, I, I just want to know some stuff. I want to know like if I'm going to get married. I want to know if I'm going to be okay. I'm going to, you know, and when I tell them, you know, that's not really what I do. I, it's, I can do it. It's just not helpful because your spirit team, they don't want you to be a bystander to your life. They want you to create your life. I mean, that's why you're here, is to navigate uh, the situations around you, your circumstances, and and better yourself and, and let your spirit grow, your soul grow. And those people I never hear from. So that a lot of times is how I know the difference at least for the time being and what's going to happen to that person's life. I think they just want to be told that what they're doing is okay and everything's going to be fine. And like I said, that's not really helpful. It's the people who are willing to hear the things they don't want to hear and look at all aspects of the situation and, and change them. Those are the people that are really grabbing life by the balls and they're going to, um, to start having a better, more exciting life um, and make better decisions. So the other way that I would like to explain predictions and why I don't do them is with a movie I like to call Back to the Future. If you have not seen Back to the Future, either you're insane and have never watched TV or you're like maybe under 20 
and in that sense you need to go watch it because you cannot continue life if you have not watched Back to the Future 1 and 2. 3 is not that good, but you definitely have to watch 1 and 2. Okay, so for those who have watched Back to the Future, this is why I don't do predictions. If you remember, there's a scene where Doc is talking to Michael J. Fox's character. I can't remember his name, so we're just going with his real name, Michael J. Fox. He takes a big um, board out and takes a, a marker and shows, here's a timeline. Here's everything that's happened on this timeline and these dates. Then he says, but you went back in the future, or back to the past, you know what I mean, and things changed. And so what happened is he created a new alternative future. Well, what I would say is that's how the future sort of works. And it's why I don't do predictions because here's your timeline. And when I read your timeline, I'm reading like this. So let's say I tell you, which I wouldn't, but let's say I tell you you're, you're going to die in a plane crash. Which, by the way, I do not tell people when they're going to die. I don't know that, so don't ask me those things. But anyway, for argument's sake, let's go with that. You're going to die in a plane crash. So here's your timeline. Here's the plane crash. Boom. Dead. Well, you're never going to get on a plane again, if you believe me. So now you've created a new alternative timeline that goes down here and goes this way. So then you never die in a plane crash or whatever else doesn't happen that I predicted. And you're like, well, she was wrong. She didn't know what the hell she was talking about. None of that shit happened. Well, you... You made different decisions based on the prediction I gave you and you created a new alternative timeline. Well, that's actually also the great thing about that is that with, without even talking to me, you can create a new timeline at any time. So if you don't like what's going on in your life, you don't like how things are going, by making decisions right here and now, for whatever issue you're having or, or whatever you don't like about your life, by just looking at what you're doing wrong, not looking and dissecting the people around you and worrying what they're doing, by with yourself doing things different, you will create a new timeline where all these wonderful things happen. Now, having said that, you are born with certain things that are always going to happen no matter what timeline you have, major life events. They will happen in one way or another. But generally, the future is up for you to create. Well, that's where I come in, is if you talk to me and get the energy changing, and I can tell you sort of what's really going on in the situation, hopefully you walk away with a sense of empowerment and, and better decision making so you can create the future you want. So that's sort of my explanation. Well, that is my explanation of why I don't do predictions and why I recommend that if you want to ask predictive questions, go ahead, but, but be, you, be lighthearted about it and don't hold so fast to what light workers say. Um, do remember that you are in control of your future and you can change things and create anything you want to create. Much love to you.